fellas. This is the bin. This is the flying slow row here, and that is not Ottawa. Fellas, this is Ottawa. Well, suburb of Ottawa, but Ottawa still. We are entering Gatineau. We're heading towards Gatineau Park to go hiking. Um, we shall be there momentarily, where I will continue with the vlog. Here's the Quebec flag. Yep, at the Gatineau flag. Park. Um, and we're about to go hiking, so. Oh, if this is the right trail anyhow, which it should be. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Marginal mm -hmm. ski conditions. Yeah. I definitely say so. <laughs> Being that there's no snow. Or right there is the Mackenzie King Estate. And this is probably the last snow we'll see all year. Um, because we're up in Gatineau, there's still a little bit of snow. Which is just melting right now. Um... So, that's what we're on right now, this trail of snow on it. It's a beautiful stream, there's birds overhead, and as well as a plane overhead, so. That's probably the downside of the plane overhead, but kind of get that everywhere. Odd part. The owner of that, the owner of the estate that used to live here, um, he brought ruins over from places like Westminster Abbey. Um, so he's a little bit strange, you have to say. But these are actual ruins from places like that. <laughs> like, a little bit strange. I'd say not every day you get the sea ruins that were brought places. Well, the only people around here who is paying attention to this as well as the ruins, but I am. It's fungus of some sort. I'm not exactly sure what kind, um, but it looks cool around that stump. That's not letting me end the video. Uh, right down here is a culvert, which is filling up another waterfall. I'm gonna see if I can get a nice better view. There we go. Right there. As, as you see, it goes down. We haven't seen this much snow since um, probably about um, probably about a couple weeks ago, actually. So, yeah. Just saw Blue Jay a minute ago. Let's see if I can spot it again. Nope. I'm in Canada. Well, not quite. There's still snow on the ground. The road, probably a closed one, I'm guessing. Um. No, nope, looks like it might actually be open. Based on what's down there, the gate's open. Climbing, fellas. Looks like there might be a pond over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. A little bit of ice in the pond. I'm trying to identify that bird call. Oh, there's a duck. Yeah, I see the duck. Oh, there's two more ducks. Two mallards. Two mallards on the ice. A uh, duck creating hey, a lake. Here. It looks like there's a foundation. Yeah, so I don't know exactly how old this is, but it um, could be probably not Mackenzie King. Um, so. But yeah, found a bottomless pit, uh, at least six or seven feet deep, I'd say. Um, if you guys can see. Down the, there might be too much reflection. Hold on. No, I can't block the reflection in my hand. Hold on. Um, if I go six or seven feet deep, it's clear for us. Um, yeah. Who knows what this is? So there's the bottom. I don't. I think you guys can see that. Probably several feet deeper underneath the other foundation. Um, right near the other one, and. Very similar in shape and size. Wonder if these guys were neighbors. 
probably were. So currently we are over near a pond, as you can hear the frogs. And that's all I really have to say for right now. That's on a road, and sign says to go this way. Yeah, that's the trail. That's the trail right down there. Um, so this is Grandma, by the way, and that's Grandpa. A few rock cliffs by the side of the trail, as you can see. We're back on it, and um, we're only about 13 kilometers from Ottawa. So if you want to go check this out while you're in Ottawa, it's um pretty close to it. That's a cool looking rock. It's kind of like a zebra granite mix foundation, or it could be a well. Oh well, that's a um, big rock cliff um, flo floating in, well, ah, I messed up my words. Not floating. Not, it's, um, it's just he sitting here in Quebec. Not Quebec. No. Um, park. Is Gatineau Park in Quebec? Yes, it is. Oh, I thought, um, I thought, I thought Gatineau was his own province there for a second. There's a little road down there, like a dirt road. And up, he and up here, there's streams. We're trying to find our way to an escarpment, which is, um, a rock cliff made by a fault line. Currently on Route 7, so... <laughs> Um, heading up towards, um, well actually this might be towards the escarpment, this might not, so who knows. So I'm going to find our way back to the road. Probably missed a turn. Um, but not really a huge problem. Because I'll just bike back, um, part way. So yeah, down this lake here, there's a pair of candy geese. Um, but this time of year they split off from their, how do you call it, um, flocks. One of them is right now is getting vegetation from the bottom and the other one is just standing guard, probably staring at, like staring at you one eye while keeping watch of the other. Also, our bike is where the bike is. The bike is at, um, as well as the car at um, Mackenzie King Estate. The barrier marking the entrance to Mackenzie King Estate. King Close are more foundations. Strictly speed limits. There's a 20 mile per hour speed limit signs way ahead there. Um, piles of rocks. And rocks marking probably a trail barrier or something. First one back to the parking lot by the looks of things. So it's not too bad. Um, actually it's good, because I kind of unintendedly want to race, because I'm the first one back. I'm grabbing my bike to get back on, because she was behind, um, the rest of the, like she was way behind, so I landed grabbing my bike. Um, and we're almost back. Well, I'm almost back to the car now, so I'm going to ride back when I get back to the car. Mackenzie Manor, on top of the hill. Um, not really much here other than the building, which has a lot of historical significance. This was the Prime Minister of Canada's house. He's here where his first, um, buildings. Right here. I wonder if the original stuff is in there. Horse and buggy. That's probably original. Golf cart, probably not original. Um, here was his original house, as these two. So I'm riding along on my bike, heading towards parking lot three, which is on the edge of the park. So, um, which is where I'm gonna be grabbing my grandpa. Um, just cruising along right now. Got About to go bands. down the hill. But it shouldn't be any problem at all. Um, Starting to shift up. So here I go.
kilometer rain, as you can see, for minor rain, as you can see from the speckle. Eight kilometers to go as I head towards Gamelin. Um, so that's not really too far. That's like, what, four miles? Three and a half? Five miles? Five miles, I think, actually. Lake down there. More like a giant pond than a lake. Um, I would stop at Pink Lake Lookout. Um, I'm kind of on my way to this little guy. It's a groundhog. It's not Groundhog Day, and I don't think I saw his shadow, so he's not. It's, um, but. Um, I can't remember what, what the groundhog predicted. Rock slide zone. Passed it and then turned around again, just, just gotta film it. Kinda riding along and there's a bike path down there. But what I'm trying to find is parking lot three. Um, I think that might be a little bit further on. They officially beat the car to P3. Didn't expect that to happen. Um, that's kind of odd, actually. I wonder if they got lost. Oh well. Um, yeah. Official then. The bike is the fastest way of transport across Gatineau Park. Being the beat a walker. And it beat a car. I'm walking to our destination, which is um, a restaurant called La Points, which serves fish. And uh, apparently when I was real little, I was real impressed by bathrooms. <laughs> Market, probably one of the more famous areas in Ottawa. As well as one of the candy shops right next to it. Um, and there's the right market again. And there's where we're going. We're points. Orange parking meter. You don't see those very often. Kind of walking down the main street here. There's graffiti over there, and there's a, um, that is a, par a building, that is Parliament over there. There's the U.S. Embassy. Um, made in Canada. Blocked off, because who knows why. Try and imitate. There's Parliament. It's better in person, so I definitely recommend coming here to Canada to see it. But just in case you never get to see it, you can see it from this video. Peace Flame. Um, which is a uh, warm and. Um, yeah, it's coming out of a building. Condo. <laughs> Yeah. Rainbow comes out of a building. Yeah. That be <coughs> Actually, is that a bank? No, where is coming out of? If so, there really is a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> so, here we go, guys. Hey, guys. Um, I just like Slowbro here here in Ottawa with another segment of this vlog. Somebody lost both their gloves. Either that or they just didn't want to wear them anymore. <laughs> um, um, here in Ottawa, this is one of the main streets with some of the tallest buildings here in Ottawa. Well, actually not some of the tallest buildings, but some of the, if you average out the height of buildings on this street, this is the tallest street in Ottawa. And there is a bear. Naked bear. 
that's that's the Weston, and this is an alleyway. Yeah, if you look here, this is probably one of the coolest pieces of architecture here in Canada. Thirty-five story building. Quiz. Big one. The only one I've ever seen, actually. This is an Equus. The only one I've ever seen is German. German craftsmanship. And they're rare. This is slow, which makes it look rather unhealthy. Well, it's man-made, so I guess you kind of have to expect that. Here is an uh, Apple store. As you see, they have the new iPhones and... Let's see, they have the iPhone 7 and the new MacBook Pro and Apple computers and tons and tons of Apple products and iPads and iPad Minis, Apple Watches. There's the Beaver Tail place, right there. Nice looking at night, but we're going to work on the Menchie's frozen yogurt. Doesn't look quite as nice, but I'm sure it'll be good. Just, well, I'm sure it will also be good. Frozen yogurt. So I'm about to eat it. Here, Kane. See that? Yep. 